Hey, good afternoon, guys, and welcome to my channel. So today I want to talk to you about an upgrade that you can do for your SEMA S107G or S107. So I've owned this helicopter for about possibly three years. And let me just say that these guys are great bashers. I mean, I've crashed this thing, I don't know how many times, and it keep, just keeps ticking along. I mean, you can see right there, I have a crack, what's it called, blade. And it's still going. I mean, I have replacement blades for it, but I just haven't had time to change them. And over the time that I've owned this helicopter, the only modifications that I have to make was replacing the battery. So these, as you know, this helicopter usually comes with an internal battery that you can't change and gives you a very short flight time. So during the time that I had to replace it for a third time, I started thinking, why do I keep buying just new batteries for this helicopter why not just use the ones that come with for example my hubs in x4 which takes these kind of batteries so what i ended up looking around was that i just soldered a connector directly to the board so what i ended up doing was desoldering the old battery so here you can see you have your negative terminal and then here I resoldered the positive terminal, terminal, this one right here. And then, yeah, that pretty much set it up so I can use it with my hubs and batteries. Um, I ended up using this one. I found that worked pretty well. This is a 380 mod, 3.7 volt, 25C tattoo battery, which I got off of Amazon. I think I got these six for like maybe eight bucks. So they're pretty cheap. And like I said, they're interchangeable. I mean, I've been getting roughly around 15 minutes with this one, which is much more than what the original stock battery came from. In addition to that, this mod would no longer require you to use this port, which as many of you might know, or have being an issue that when you plug it in, it can come out if you do not put it right, or if it just, when you start using it so many times, it just pops off and it doesn't really work well. So pretty much after this mod, you can just throw this cord out. And then these, like I said, they're interchangeable. You don't have, you can just charge them up with your regular chargers. I mean, these are much more easier to get a hold of than for example, the original battery. I mean, you can buy them. It's just that I feel that this is more, a much more bang for your buck. I mean, these connectors, I think you can find them on Amazon for roughly around maybe seven, $8, maybe cheaper if you look on Banggood and you're willing to wait. But yeah, let me just give you a quick demonstration so you can see that it actually does work. So I went ahead and put in the battery in there. I connected it. And then with the flick of a switch, I can just turn the, the helicopter on. Let me turn on my transmitter. And there you go. See? It works. Okay, so the way I was able to mount my battery was pretty much I took one of these sandwich ties. And then I ran it through the bottom of the board right here. It goes straight through to the other side and then pretty much I just tied at the bottom and just made it tight enough so I can just take out batteries but they won't come out during flight. Like I said, and this is much easier than just having to wait for your helicopter to charge. You can just take out a battery and put it in a fresh one. Okay, so that's my two cents on the battery mod that you can do for your SEMA S107 or S107G. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I appreciate you guys coming to my channel. If you liked the video, feel free to press the like button. If you didn't, dislike button, I would understand. Um, if you want to see more content, please subscribe to my channel. And I'm looking forward to putting up more videos for you guys. Um, upcoming videos will be include my quadcopter. So that would be FPB footage from my Hubs NX4. Um, I will also be going over how I was able to put an FPV cam at 5.8 gigahertz on my Hubs X107C. And then I will also be reviewing my XKX130X or T. I'll put that in the description. So yeah, guys, thanks for coming. Peace out. Bye.